this is what happened the last time the Houston Texans played the Los Angeles Chargers. I am still shocked that it happened. It's their championship today. Up by 11, 159 to go. Herbert looking for Cook. Intercepted. Thomas on the return. Down the sideline. Good night. I didn't need the CBS broadcast adding the little editorial in there that this is the Texans Super Bowl. Kiss my ass. But, I mean, he's right. So, okay. Going into Sunday. This is a team that the Texans beat last year. This is a team, the Chargers, that after losing 38-10 to the Jacksonville Jaguars, had a team meeting led by Sebastian Joseph Day, his first season as Chargers captain after playing for the Rams last year, called a players-only meeting. And you have the head coach being asked about it. That's the way you want it to be, especially after a game like that. Sure, Brandon. I'm sure everyone's just totally buying into you, especially when no one spoke to the media after that game either. Not like there's a lot of media covering the Los Angeles Chargers. You would think that that means that this is a team on the ropes and that the Texans would have an advantage. And yet, no confidence. Let's go a little further. Because everything, just like with last week against the Chicago Bears, should add up to the Texans at the very least covering. Spread is five points. BUSR.com slash ESPN. The Chargers are favored by five on the road at NRG on Sunday. Justin Herbert has fractured rib cartilage. This is something he's going to be dealing with for a while. Matt Hasselbeck was asked about fractured rib cartilage. I've had this injury and it stinks. Those little jabs or the big hits, those aren't great. But using your cadence hurts. You can hardly even breathe when you have this injury. Everything is bothering you. So Justin Herbert's still dealing with that. It's been almost, has it been a week and a half, I think? Two weeks, probably? We're talking about a Thursday night game against the Chiefs. It's been two weeks. Two weeks, okay. So maybe it's a little bit better. I doubt it's optimal right now. He's also played a football game in between that. That is true, and he got his ass kicked in it. By the way, Rashawn Slater, the Chargers' all-pro left tackle, has a ruptured bicep. So sixth-round rookie Jamari Salyer is going to start. He was a swing guard to begin the year, though he did play left tackle for Georgia when they won the national championship last year. No Rashawn Slater. You got a rookie sixth-round pick at left tackle. Center, Corey Lindsley, a knee injury. He left week two's game against Kansas City. He missed the game against the Jaguars. Keenan Allen's dealing with a hamstring injury. Joey Bosa on the defensive side of things is on the IR with a groin injury. Khalil Mack, four sacks thus far. He's been a great addition. But their other big addition defensively this offseason, J.C. Jackson had to have ankle surgery on August 23rd. He missed week one, played all of week two, but then he missed week three because apparently that injury has inflamed itself. All of those guys that I listed towards the end, Allen, Lindsley, and um, Jackson, those guys are... I guess, questionable for tomorrow's game. And we'll see the final injury report later on this afternoon. So again, Texans should have an edge here, right? And yet you can't have any faith in them. Like there's, There is no situation where the Texans can earn any confidence from you. And they don't deserve your confidence. They really don't. I mean, I'm thinking about this logically about how, you know what, it might make sense to pick the Texans to cover here. And, and I just have zero faith. And by the way, they have... To their credit, I think they covered all three weeks. Could be wrong on that. I'm not sure what the spread was for the Bears game. They pushed the Bears. They pushed. Gotcha. So, but they are undefeated against the spread. Okay, cool. The Texans have the NFL's worst run defense. You know, that makes you a little concerned. Chargers have the NFL's worst rushing offense. Is Austin Eckler really going to get it together on Sunday? Oh, well, uh, these linebackers may be. And uh, look, the the Chargers just gave up 151 rushing yards. This sucks. I mean, right? Like, you you can outline it just like last week and the week before and the week before. Like, they've played three bums. They've tied one of them and lost to two of them. Like, all of those teams have sucked thus far. And this team is playing like ass. You could have a chance to be the most fraudulent 4-0 team of all time right now. And instead, like, I, I can't even pick you against the Chargers when this seems like a layup. 